hello and welcome to my channel again today i'm here with a new topic that is white matter at throat top 10 etiologies that must be considered before starting i would like to request you to subscribe my channel and if you have already subscribed my channel thank you so much so let's start the number one etiology is membranous tonsillitis Membranous tonsillitis presents with features of acute tonsillitis. It is caused by a pyogenic organism and an exudative membrane is formed on the medial aspects of both tonsils. The number two etiology is diphtheria. Diphtheria is caused by Cornibacterium diphtheri. Unlike membranous tonsillitis, it is not so abrupt in onset. It is slower in onset and there is less local discomfort. The membrane here is dirty gray in color and the membrane extends beyond the tonsillar surface onto the soft palate. The membrane is adherent to the underlying surface and removal of the membrane leaves a bleeding surface. Throat swab will show the causative organism here. Number three is Vincent angina. It is insidious in onset with less fever and less local discomfort. A membrane is formed usually on one tonsil and removal of the membrane exposes an ulcerative irregular lesion. Throat swab will show the causative organisms that are spirochetes and fusiform bacilli. The number four etiology is infectious mononucleosis. It often affects the young adults and both tonsils are very much enlarged and congested and membrane covered. Lymph node on the posterior triangle of the neck may be enlarged and there may be splenomegaly. Infectious mononucleosis draws attention of the physician when there is failure of antibiotic therapy. Paul Barnell test or monospot test will show high titer of heterophyll antibody. Blood smear will show lymphocyte count more than 50% of which 10% are atypical. White blood cell count may be normal in the first week but rises in the second week. Number 5 etiology is agranulocytosis. Agranulocytosis presents with ulcerative lesion that may be present not only in throat but may be anywhere in the body. The patient is severely ill in acute fulminant stage. The leukocyte count may be as low as 2000 per cubic millimeter and neutrophil count may be reduced to 5%. But in chronic or recurrent cases, the leukocyte count may be low but neutrophil count may not be as low as expected. The number six etiology is leukemia. Leukemia can also present with uh, white matter at throat. Peripheral blood film will show leukocyte count more than one lakh per cubic millimeter. It may be lower or may be normal and there is anemia which is progressive. Bone marrow study will show blast cells. Number seven etiology is aphthous ulcer. Aphthous ulcer is very very painful. It usually presents over the movable mucosa of the oral cavity but it can also present at throat. It may be solitary or multiple. Number eight is malignancy of tonsil. Tonsillar malignancy may be of two types. One is squamous cell carcinoma and another is lymphoma. Number nine is traumatic ulcer. Any injury to the oropharynx heals with membrane formation. Injury to the oropharynx may be caused by toothbrush, pencil or by finger manipulation. A membrane is formed within 24 hours. The number 10 etiology is the most commonly thought etiology at the GP practice level that is candida infection of the throat also called oral thrush. So that's the 10 etiologies. I would like to share with you a mnemonic to remember it. The mnemonic is MD via local 
and mega teaching center. I repeat MD via local and mega teaching center. So how will we diagnose an ulcer membranous lesion at throat? We have to take proper history. We have to do relevant physical examination. We can order CBC, peripheral blood film, throat swab, culture and sensitivity testing. We can do bone marrow study when it is required. Paul Bunnell test can also be done. So that's all from the white patch at throat. Hope you have enjoyed it. See you later. Goodbye.